Lunchtime News with Kasia Madeira. The Prime Minister has said the government is willing to talk to the health unions about their pay demands. Rishi Sunak said the government was happy to discuss Hello and a warm welcome to our viewers on PBS in America and around the globe. And I'm Kasia Madeira in London. And Rico, let's keep the cooking Christmas... How are the authorities coping there? It's a huge movement to galvanise emergency services, fire brigade, the police force and a massive amount of volunteers. A year and, what, four months yeah. and he's doing so, so well and, you know, we, we really appreciate you just spending the time to talk to us. Where's Dad? He's back in Ukraine. Twenty more of five-year-old twins. With their mum, Elena, they have paid a very heavy price for the fighting in Ukraine. Olena, Nazo and Timur's sight have been saved. They are healing. The psychological damage, though, different aspects of civil society is proving to be extremely divisive. And now the church's very foundations are being shaken by a new beat talking about a further 800 million US dollars worth of military aid for Ukraine. Of course, it's all welcome. But put it into context. Welcome to Breakfast Club. I've been dying to say that. This, these are all the children who are just queuing up very patiently and very loudly to start their. Do stay with us here on BBC News. Still to come. Welcome to Westminster. Scenes that we've been watching for the past four days, days and. We can already see behind you, Kasia. That the start of the tributes that are being paid, the flowers that are being laid on the, on the gates and on the railings of Buckingham Palace. Christian, you mentioned the weather. It's just starting to rain once again here. It's been pouring earlier on today, but it's not stopped people from coming. It's people absolutely itself. want to... The volunteers who've been gathering food that then will go to food banks, and also people just uh, searching, going through the food itself that will then go onto the food banks. These guys are here for, I think it's the third night. We're joined by Izzy and Caitlin. Hello, Hi. you're from the Queen's Just to bring you some breaking news from the UK, the British Prime Minister Boris Johnson has been admitted to intensive care with those persistent symptoms of 1856, this is a statistic that just uh, staggers me. The situation wasn't resolved until the 133rd ballot. Are we in for a really long run here or will the Republicans, do they have to get themselves sorted out? Oh, and a very warm welcome to World News Today. On Saturday, the shutdown of large parts of the US government will become the longest in yeah, America. Let's over to Washington to talk to Tara Sedmeyer, a political commentator. Also, Tara, you're a former Republican congressional aide. Just Put this into context for us. The midterms on the 8th, just a few days away, one or two weeks, is actually quite a long time. Poland has the capabilities, has the spare parts, has the ability... NATO, a fundamental reset. Matthew, absolutely. This was being described as a transformative... And I'm Kasia Madeira. I'm a journalist. I'm a BBC News presenter. I've got the thrill of working with Mike, and it's an absolute pleasure. Fantastic dancer. And I've been working for, in broadcasting for about 20 years now. Yes, we are so, so pleased to be able to be wearing these beautiful creations. Folklore is so important in Polish history, Polish tradition. Mazury will be showing us some of the best of Polish folklore. Kasia urodzona w Wielkiej Brytanii, ale wspaniale mówi po polsku. Piotrze, dziękuję strasznie. To jest wielki zaszczyt, że tutaj jestem. These guys here are forensically verifying. They're cross-referencing times, details, all the kind of stuff that you'd see on social media. That Don't forget, you can get in touch with me via social media, at Kasia Madeira on Twitter. It will be Lovely to hear from you. Bye-bye.